welcome to Car Wax. I'm Michael, your bougie black brother, and I'm here with my co-host, bougie brother Sean. Sean, what's up? Woody, Woody, son. How you feeling today, Pops? Cool. Just laid back. Um, you know, still trying to do my thing, building, but uh, trying to do it all at once, and I'm glad you gave me something different this week. That's what was kind of exciting, but... Okay. How you been, man? How you been? Ah, oh, man, I've been good, man. I've been trying to, uh, I'm brewing up a few things over here, man. But, you know, as far as, like you said, man, I, I've been I've been a little intrigued by a little bit of music. Oh, I definitely want to give a shout out to Tidal. Um, I ended up jumping on Tidal. I'm a new Tidal uh, subscriber. <laughs> you know, yeah, why definitely want to give a shout out to them. I got, I got a ratchet phone, so I might not get the best out of it. You know, I'm gonna blame it on the phone like, before I definitely fucking blame update. it on the app. <laughs> you fucking update. You did free updates yeah. out there, dude. What the fuck you doing? <laughs> but uh, yeah, shout out to them. But yeah, I've been cooling, man. Just brewing up a few things, trying to get money up. There you go. That's the only way to do it. Get your money up. Get those coins. Yes, sir. But uh, really good choices. Uh, really slowed down about actually listening to a couple that i was kind of like you know wale and i was kind of like oh, okay thanks okay and i was right and then thugger had five tracks yeah and i was you know he went back to what i was kind of used to but it was there you go it was sad because he fucking disappointed me and then he came back and said well that's what i expected the other time but you know these fucking eps be killing me right now so but it was <laughs> but it was cool i was like i can deal with it but right. then you hit me with the Carter Five, as well as Lupe Fiasco. Yeah. So, yes. uh, um, I'm not sure which one you wanted to start with. Um, well, I, I, you know, I wanna. Oh my gosh! All right, so let's start off with. Uh, we're gonna definitely start off with Lupe mm -hmm. because. Carter Five has been anticipated for a long time, probably six years now. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yep. 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 So you know, he had definitely a couple of songs. I mean, Mick, he had a few albums in between, but no one was really. Those weren't really popping like the Carters. Everyone's looking for, waiting for the Carters. So you know, I wasn't definitely want to wait for last for that one. No, no, no doubt. So real quick on the the Lupe. Um, uh, his hating ass really pissed me off. So back I, in the day, yeah. yeah so I was yeah. I really didn't look forward to listening to anything that motherfucker came out with. So that was okay. that's that's my disclaimer up front. So okay. you kind of like, right. damn, dude, really? Yeah, I I really was like, dude, all you did was say fuck the industry and you know Obama ain't shit. All these people, I like. Dude, ain't nobody want to hear what you got to say. No fucking more. I don't even want to hear your music. So I kind of had that mentality. And then mm -hmm. when you when you threw that out there, I was like, okay, let's see what this nigga talk about now. You know? Mm. So. Okay. Which. Uh, go ahead. Now, in, in the era of Kanye, you know, um, I'm, I'm shocked that you even had the audacity to say that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like. Like you can't wait for Kanye. <laughs> Kanye was supposed to drop this, uh, when when Carter Five dropped. Yeah. Right. But he pushed it back. He pushed it back for another two months. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you would have listened to that just as fine as we listened to the last one. So, so always remember, it's all about I'm a production guy. Okay. I'm always looking forward to production before rap. Now right. Lupe was is a lyricist rap storyteller for me the way he does certain things i liked his past stuff in that way and and it was it was upbeat but it was pretty you know he had messages and things but it put it down yeah that story definitely. i say more messages than story so i really liked that but then when he went off into that, I was like, I, I don't give a fuck what you do because <laughs> you, you're just an asshole, dude. Fuck that. <laughs> so that was my um, thought. And I was kind of like, yeah, let me put on Carter Five before I put on this nigga right here. Okay. So, wow. So, so introducing to this, and I'm, I'm looking at the names of the tracks and 
the different stuff that was on there. I was kind of like, oh, okay, what is fuck is this about? And it began. Right. And he caught me with saying, let me go back to your roots. Let's go back to our roots and let me rebuild and let you know that the message I want to bring is our history, the conditions that we're under based on the history that we had. And I'm going to fucking rap on it, too. Right. And I was pretty impressed by it. I think it was long as fuck. Um, but it was okay. I was okay. I was very impressed with how he had certain songs that had um, messages. And the one, I'm not sure which one it was. But when he said how he fucked up, when he said fuck the industry and would he take it back? And he was like, no, I wouldn't take it back. But uh, I realized I fucked up. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, okay, because you really did fuck up. And <laughs> But I really liked how he did that because he went through the timeline and, right. and, and went from there. And I really enjoyed it because then I gave him some respect to say, okay, you, you did realize that was a fucking dumb thing to do. Even though you had true followers, because I wasn't a true follower. I was a person who enjoyed his music, but I wasn't, okay. a, I wasn't a true follower. So his true follow the followers kept him to say, you're still that good. You're still that good. We, we, we still respect you. We understand you. But he made me understand how good of a fucking rapper he was. MC, MC yeah, MC, rapper, yeah. With, with, with this album. And I was like, yeah, I, I did enjoy this guy. Damn, I actually should have never dropped off from him. But he just pissed <laughs> me off, though. It, was just, it just pissed me off. And... But I really loved he had, you know, he had some Latino shit in there. He had some reggae stuff in there. He had almost almost uh, um, spiritual shit in there. He had he had so much in here and he just did it well with the way he rapped. Right. And that's what made my enjoyment of this still. I'm going to keep saying it. <laughs> this shit was long as fuck. 24 fucking cuts here. Kind of like, okay. Because he even had a, that the instrumental one, the slave ship. Um, yeah. And that was fucking three minutes, man. Yeah, but but it was a violin solo or yeah. something like that. Yeah. But it, it was nothing that I would have expected. You know what I'm saying? Right. But when you listen to a rap album and that comes in the middle, you're kind of like, what the fuck is that? But then, okay. you, but then it became. Then I had to understand on my third listen, it's the feel that he wanted you to have throughout the album. Exactly. If you didn't understand what he tried to make you feel, then you missed the whole thing that what he was trying to do. Yeah, I, I can agree to that. But overall, I was like, "Thanks for coming back." Honestly, mm -hmm. thanks for coming back. Now. I'm so glad within the realm of what we're listening to and what's been coming out, I was glad to have him come back. It, it, yeah. It, it made me feel good about, you know what, there's some people still out there that I don't have to listen to this other shit because there's people out there that's still doing good rap and good messages, even within their rap. Yeah, yeah, he's a um, loop... <laughs> Lupe still got it. That, yep. That's that's probably an understatement of saying that. But Lupe's definitely, he still got it. So, yeah. So, there's some couple that uh, that I, I kind of really, um, Manila was, Drogas was good. Um, I like that. But Manila really made me start thinking about his message. And, you know, it was long, too. But I just enjoyed that. That was one that I had to say, not rap, but listen to the message and it, it made me listen to the message on that um there's a couple that kind of jumped in and out i love exo um okay i really love that one that was the one i kept repeating for a little bit. Um, mm. yeah i forgot the one that he told the story about how he didn't how he fucked up and had to get himself right back in there and don't yeah, mess I think, up the children i don't remember <laughs> that one man i think i missed that one okay so I was um so oh go, go ahead go ahead and finish my bad no 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 it was 
And I'm, I'm trying to figure out which one it was. I'll, I'll find it soon later. But yeah, but he, he just had so much good things. And it was sadly, I can't point out the songs because they were similar. Yeah, there it is. Imagine. Imagine. OK. Yeah. If I would have brought it back, brought it back, I wouldn't change a fucking thing. And then he went through the sequence of that. So if you find Imagine, it was like the 18th cut. Yeah. So it was way down on the bottom. But I, I really appreciated all of that, that, what he put into it. And it was really, really good. Nice. So for me, um, I jumped back on, I jumped back on Lupe back in 2015. Okay. When he dropped this project, it was called Take So. Well, I, I tried to watch, listen to Laser, and I was just like, eh, man, you tripping. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and I do remember when he was when he was talking breezy because he 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 left for a little while. He right. disappeared for a little while. So you know, so when I seen him back on and I heard Laser, I wasn't too impressed. Mm -hmm. And then Tate, uh, it's called Tetsuo and Youth. I listened to that and was that that rock that, one? It was like a piece of art on the front of it. Okay. You know, it was like half red and with a little pink line. It was it was like literally a piece of art that he put on there. So I'm looking at so I'm listening to that and it got like two damn, damn near ten minute songs on there, two eight minute songs where he's just going flowing. You right. know, he's flowing on one and then another one he kind of made it to two songs in one. You know, but that amount um, album is amazing because it starts off in the summer, and and it's and it's just uh, uh, a not a symphony, but yeah, I guess so. It's a symphony of them of a of an interlude of just instruments. Motherfuckers is going, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And it's supposed to symbolize it's supposed to symbolize summer. Then he got another cut later on in the album called Fall. Then he got another cut later on in the album called Winter. Then at the end of the album, it's called Spring. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And all of it is orchestrated with this piece is like a piece of art. You know, when you listen to it, it's a whole thing. You're like, so that's literally one of my favorite albums that I've, that I've heard in a long time. So I was like, damn, Lupe's back. You know, and I, I, I used to literally take trips, you know, drive in a van and I had 10 people in the back. We listened in the Lupe. Damn. You know what I'm saying? All right, all and, right. and, and I'll ride that album. They'd be like, man, I can't stand this lyrical motherfucker. Mm. But they wouldn't say it was bad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you can't really say the Lupe albums was bad. It was just like, that's just not my type of music. Right, right. You know, so when this dropped. He's different. Right. Well, well, uh, Drogas Light came out before this one. I tried Drogas gas light and it reminded me of laser. So I immediately turned it off. I don't, I don't know how I, I just couldn't get through it. So you, so you said this one reminds you of Testo and youth, but the Drogas yeah. light was something totally different. It was, it was kind of on the laser side. Okay. On the laser side. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It was kind of on the laser side. He was, I guess he was trying to get back in the game. Well, he, I don't know, man. It was, I'm gonna try to listen to it again, and I'll give you some more information about it. But it just—it definitely wasn't like his last two out of his three albums. Two out of his last three albums was bomb. Okay. But that 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 uh, drug guy's light was like, eh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but so I'm I'm going through the album, and I'm like, okay, you're giving me that same feel. Okay, I like this. Did he just giving you knowledge? He dropping information on you, man. I love that Manila. You know, I thought that Manila was was real slick because at the end, he told you that that's pretty much how we started selling ourselves. Yep. We started selling ourselves for Manila. Yep, exactly. And it, it put it in perspective. And I was kind of like, wow. wow. Mm -hmm. I was like, great information for a hip hop album, mm -hmm. you know. And then uh, Nikki Jones, Nikki Jones was on the Tetso and uh, Tetso and you. She was on there twice. You know, and those were great songs that she was on. So when I seen her on the album, I was like, oh, okay. Oh. It wasn't, it wasn't taking over his rap. They weren't rapping. Yeah, yeah. They were you know, like, like, how would you say? They was just overlaying what he was doing. There you go. And it wasn't competing with him either. So not at all, man. It, it, it was just like, it, he sounded really good, man. You know, one of my favorite songs was King Nas. Because, yeah, yes, like he that. did sound like, you know, he did have that rap lingo like Nas had. 
you know, I was like, okay, that's slick. I, I, I like, I like that. I like that. And then uh, the last song, Miro Jr., is actually a, a song. Miro was the song from Tetsuo and You. Oh, okay. So, okay. so again, I, I, I feel like he kind of tried to embody that last album and just, you know, put a different perspective in it and just put another theme to it. You know, I could just make this album again and just put another theme to it and it'll still be just as great as long as I stick to the theme. You know, and that's what it seemed like he did on this album, which was a, an amazing thing because it didn't sound forced. It didn't sound overstructured. It no, sounded it like. Good point. No, no. Good point. Know, Go ahead. Yeah. It, it, it sounded like really good vibe music. It's you know, he used all the orchestras that he used, you know, good, mm -hmm. really good, man. And, and I was just like, nice. Nice dog, nice. And I can I can just chill back and listen to the message. Yep. You know, and and he didn't he didn't force feed the message to you either. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He kind of made it fun, man. I I like the Go Island, that that uh Island Forever. That's yeah, nice, Island Forever, man. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I was yeah, like, was damn, really this nice. is some good music here. This is some really refreshing good music. And it wasn't you know. forced. You know, like, you know, sometimes they have a message to kind of try to beat you over the head. Like, wake up, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. This is some shit that you... He was giving you knowledge. He was kind of presenting things. He wasn't really forcing it on you. And that's what made it easy for me to listen to it again. Right. Because he put it... He, he made it like a art. He yeah. made it like art instead of like music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's how I was listening to it. I was just like, wow, okay. Let me, again, let me get the big picture of this. You know what I'm saying? Let me grasp everything within one. Okay, I like that. But I like how he put that within this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me prepare for the next song because I'm pretty sure he's going to try to, you know, keep all of this together. You know what I'm saying? And, <laughs> right, and he right, did right. that. He did that. You know, he, 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 this is, this is a very good album. And and it really surprised me how good it was. I didn't think he was going to be able to hit that mark again. So let me ask you this question then. So with this era that we listen in to different kinds of music, is he different than what you're hearing? Or is he similar to dot, 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 dot? I think he's the same old Lupe. Okay. Okay. You know, I, I don't think he's changed much. You know, I, I think um, he's just learned a lot more. He don't stay in the States anymore. I think he stays out overseas somewhere in one of the Asian Asian countries. Oh, okay. Um, so I, I know he posts a lot of pictures of him out there. I'll just say it like that. So, so he's more comfortable um, outside of the States so he can be almost like an observer looking back like, dude, y'all need, need to understand what you're fucking going through. And that's, yeah. that, that's how I saw it, him almost looking back. And it's funny that you said that. Because it, it, to me, the way he did it, he was an observer and he was telling you things. And then he said, let me give you some history because you really don't know this. So as I'm looking at this, here's some history on top of that. I, I mm -hmm. need you to understand what I'm trying to, you know, let you know. And it was lessons. And, and, and it was just so different. So, and I ask you that because I haven't heard anything like him either this right. year from anyone. You know, you got storytellers or some people telling you about what's going on, but he has his own road and he just came back and said, yep, I'm just getting back on it and I'm going. And it's actually a double CD. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Yes. Well, yeah. So I think the cups. last track, let me make sure. I think the last track is... Uh, yeah, Hollis Selassie. That yeah, Hollis Selassie. Might be the last track. Let me make sure. Let me make sure. Yeah, because but, it's number eight on my download. Yeah, but it was a. Uh, uh, but for me, like I said, yeah, you're absolutely right. It doesn't. It doesn't sound like anything else, man. It sounds refreshing. It sounds informational, but it doesn't sound like force feeding it to you. Yeah. It doesn't sound like a Nas album, you know. <laughs> yeah. Like, I had you know, to do it. I have but to it do doesn't it. sound like a J. Cole album. No. And see, I'm glad you said it, because the only person who came close to that would be a J. Cole. Exactly. But totally different. Mm -hmm. Because he does his, his way, and J. Cole does it 
his way and it's always good to say yep he's he did a great job but still doing what he does right and uh, there's a lot of people who can't do that they have to do well I'll, I'll get into it next but uh yeah <laughs> so yeah so the last track on the first part was Alan forever okay and then it starts off with the health the skelter kit skit okay yeah so so how many tracks is that it looks like that's nine and then yep. it goes into like 14 fucking tracks after that. Yeah, and then go deep, <laughs> real deep. It <laughs> go real hard on the back end and shit, right? Yeah. yeah. But but again, if you if you hear Tate Soul and you I think I think you'll still like that better than this, but you'll appreciate this because you you can see where it came from and mm-hmm. you you can see how he kind of just used his same format, his own format. It's not just the the format of a song anymore Mm -hmm. it's the format of an album how how am i projecting this album what do i want it to be so you know you can kind of get a better idea on how he delivered this and how he wanted it to be delivered okay no i want to hear it now because of how this sound to me Mm -hmm. and i think i did you did send me the droga's light and i think i got up to like the third or fourth and i fucking cut it off right yeah because that was last year <laughs> yeah yeah you sent that to me but um mm-hmm. yeah so yeah i can probably digest it differently now based on this and i can see either way he was headed or what he was trying and said Psh, you know what? I, wasn't I, need unsu- to go- I was unsuccessful yeah, let me go I need back to, go back. to- yep Yep, the yep, Tetsu yep. and Youth yep. to where I know what was successful. Yep. So, you know what I'm saying? And I think that's kind of what happened. I, you know, I, I think he did the Droga's Lights and he was like, ah, <laughs> okay, let me let me go back to what I want to do. Yep. It, and maybe that's what it was, you know. Maybe, I, maybe somebody was in my ear, wanted me to make more hits, mm-hmm. or maybe felt like I, I could make more hits. Nah, Lupe needs to do Lupe. That, that's the best Lupe. Yeah. When he was doing the skate push and all that other stupid retarded shit, <laughs> when I was young, I was like, man, that shit's lame as hell. But the older I got, I was like, man, this shit is actually pretty fucking cool. Yeah. I like Lupe. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because he, he made it, to your point you said earlier, even though he has these messages within it, it still sounded fun. Mm-hmm. It, it didn't sound like, oh, oh, let me sit down and see what this dude talking about. You still can ride with this and be like, damn, this is fucking cool. Wow. Yeah. Right. Damn. He really talking about some shit right here, you know, and and that's why I respected it so much. And I'm and and again, I'm on a high end because I was like really not looking forward to it. Okay, so this is why it was a really so much for me, as opposed to yeah, he's good. Let me see what he's doing next. I hope he comes out better. That I wasn't even in that place. I was in this is this bullshit. So I'd be hating on him if he starts with some bullshit. You know, talking about people again, and I'm kind of like I'm already got that from Eminem. I don't need another motherfucker coming out doing that again. <laughs> so, but he didn't. He said I'm gonna do Lupe, and I think it was successful. So nice. So nice, nice rating. I'm gonna rate it an eight two five. Um, and I'm I'm rating it an eight two five because. It's just long as fuck, man. Right. Some, sometimes I enjoy stuff, but you got to stop. You fucking got to stop, man. I don't need to. You filling up some things because you, you really want to add some. Hey, I need for you to hear this as well as this. I don't need to hear that. If not, take off some shit that you really didn't think needed to be on there. Let's, let's just level it out. There's Damn. some people that did. Uh, twenty something that you said. Yep, I enjoyed every single lick. Of every that song of that, by the way. But yeah. this one was a little drawn out. Not drawn out to be hating, but drawn out to be like I just really didn't need all of this. I, I really didn't. But very enjoyable for me. And, and and I can agree to that because you can throw the Spanish song out for me. Yeah, I don't need that. You know, you you it's a handful of songs to where you could be like they weren't bad songs. It was, it's just like it's twenty three songs. You know what I'm saying? Like you knew you you know this is independent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you went because yeah. yeah, you go to a label, they're gonna be like, nah, dog, we're gonna cut this to sixteen tracks. Yep, save this for later. He's gonna be like, no, 
I gotta, I gotta have a theme. It's a movie. I need you to look at the whole thing. All right, well, we're gonna cut it to 20 tracks. How about that? But, but what about my interludes? <laughs> look, figure it out. Yep. What you wanna do? Cause, cause we, we gotta cut this show. Matter of fact, we're cutting it to 18. Now. 18. Since because you got damn going. Yeah, keeps you back fucking keep arguing with me. Yep. 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 Congratulations. You just got five motherfucking tracks <laughs> cut off your album. Now set the fuck up. Let's get yeah. this released. I fucking hate record labels. <laughs> they don't listen to it. All right. All right, All right. motherfucker. All right. All right. Go back in the dungeon. But... <laughs> yeah. Go back in the dungeon. <laughs> but they weren't bad songs. Uh, I think I think he could have turned him and Nicky Jean uh, into a mixtape. They can make a whole album themselves. Yeah. And I think that would sound amazing. You know, if they actually, you know, were, are like, all right, let's put 10 songs together. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Let's see how that works. You know, so I think I think that's good. I think he's lyrically balanced. You yeah. know, I think he had very beautiful production. Yep. You know, just just the way he laid everything out. It was beautiful. And honestly, I thought it was a great piece of work. Yeah. You know, um, critiquing him as, as a as a as a. I'm sorry. With, with this critique, I'm gonna have to give him an eight seven five. Wow. Okay. Um, because I really liked the album, okay. and I did have it did give me memories of one of his most recent hot albums. So I had to, you know, honestly on social media, I I, I had it at a at a very high nine. Well, not I had it at a low nine. Oh, low nine. You okay. know what I'm saying? But you know, honestly, I I would definitely have to give it an eight seven five because yeah, twenty three songs is a lot. And even though I'm riding through it, it I still drown out mm -hmm. after a certain point. Yep. Because like you said, the Imagine track, I I vaguely remember it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's like I, I've actually been listening to the Wayne, and I've been wanting to put the Lupe back on, but Wayne's calling me. Okay. Okay. All right. You no, know, but definitely an 875, man. I, I I enjoyed the album. I will pop it on again. You know that it reminded me of some of the common albums. You know the uh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Nobody smiling. You know nobody smiling. Comma album kind of reminds me of the same feel. Mm -hmm. It's not similar. the The albums aren't similar by any means, but just the feel he was giving off was very genuine, man. Very unique, man. So right. you know this gave me that same feel. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So very very worth to listen. Um, for some people who's not into this lyric lyricist and 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 people really giving you a really good feel to a message you may not like it because it ain't about bitches and hoes and uh right. drugs and drinking and shooting and he he takes the reverse and say you shouldn't be doing this shit and that's his message so he he's turning it on upside down so some people may not even be comfortable with it but anywho but yeah, yeah, I, I really appreciate your 8-7, but I, I just took some points off because it's just too goddamn long. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> it is a lot. Join us next time when we go to our second half review with the Kata 5 with Lil Wayne. And we let Sean educate us a little about the different styles of little Compose Wayne. Yourself like See you next time. In a zone Ish. like Sonic that produced me a sign of the end times, end time to make profit off the t-shirts. And monetize all the research and leave earth feet first. Breach, behold, whites get white in the cold. And colors don't fade in the bleach. Huh? Applause, the fall through a man-made south. Talking to a doll at the pancake house. To bring the lightsaber, uh, so bring the lampshades out. Move to say something lewd on the news and move like views on the cruise and fuse like cues in the use.